I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. Wesker? Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? Whoa! What is it? What? Oh! Oh, no! Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. I wonder if everybody is... Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? It's pretty dangerous outside. Let me take care of it. I understand. For now, I'll wait here. Since there are a lot of chemicals in this room and they might be useful. Well, I'll look over the chemicals. What is this? Wow! What a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Lost courage already? It's not like you. Who is it? Hey, you! Stop! Run, Jill! He's insane! What the hell? Let's report this to Wesker. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Barry? Kenneth was killed too. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. 
This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. No, I'll take care of that direction. I told you to start from the other side, Jill. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Barry! Barry? It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Are you all right? Yes. I have decided not to grieve any longer. Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Wait, what is that? My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? See? Just relax and play. All right. Let's go back and look for them at once. All right. Rebecca. I know, I know, but just a little longer. Chris! Chris! You like it? Oh, that was great. What is that? <laughs> what are they? Monsters? Rebecca! Is she still in the house? Rebecca! 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 Chris! Thank God you're safe! I'm sorry that you were worried about me. We are in great danger. We must organize a search for the others and get the hell out of here. Yes, sir! Understood? Yes, sir! Okay, I'll go first. Proceed with your own judgment. All right, can you do it? Yes, I can! Good luck! Yes, sir! I'll do my best! <sighs> what are they? It's Rebecca! She must be upstairs! Ah, Chris! This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. And do you know how much of the medicine is usable? Well, probably there is enough for two doses. Are you all right? Want me to treat it? Chris, be careful! I'm okay, but if something happens to me, please take care of me. Okay, you can depend on me. But we only have enough medicine for three more doses. Excuse me, but you aren't mad at me about all that, are you? Oh, of course not. You were pretty worried, though, weren't you? Hey, we're partners, aren't we? Let's work together. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Chris, take care. This is the last dose. Don't go doing reckless things anymore. What? It must be a star's radio. It's a little bit broken, but it might still be usable. I'll take it with me. Is that you, Rebecca? Chris, are you all right? Yeah. W what happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah, uh, my head is killing me. I think you'll be all right because I gave you a shot. But please stay out of trouble. You saved my life. I owe you one. What? It must be a star's radio. It's slightly broken, but it's still usable. I'll take it with me. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? 
I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. Jill! <laughs> Don't scare me. That's what I was going to say. Aren't you supposed to be going over the first floor, Barry? Yeah, you're right. But just take a look at this. It's forest. Oh, my God. It's awful. I'm going to find out what caused Forrest's death. It looks like he was killed by a crow or something. Can you look around the first floor, Jill? Okay. Hey, Jill. This must have been Forrest's. You don't have a weapon. Take this with you. I can't believe. Rebecca! Rebecca! Am I poisoned? Damn it, give me serum. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. Chris, I'm sure the serum must be there. I'll be right back. You all right? Yeah. What happened? You were bitten by a poisonous snake. Are you okay? Ah, uh, my head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot. But please be careful. I'm glad I could help. You saved my life. I owe you one. Is that you, Jill? What's going on? How come you look so scared? Look at this. What do you think of it? I've been thinking something is wrong with this house. Right. Hey, what is this? There's a page missing. Yeah, I thought about that too. Perhaps that was the most important part. I think I'll stay and look around more. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. Who are you? I'm Chris of Alpha Team. I've come to rescue you. Richard, what happened? Chris, this house is too dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! Richard, don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the wound is abnormally large. It's not just a poisonous snake. It's a monster. Richard, he needs serum, but we left it in another room. Okay, I'll go. Hurry, please. I will. Wait here. I'll be back soon. Here's the serum. Is he all right? Yes, he is. Thanks. Richard... Hold on, I'll give you a shot now. Chris, Chris, here's a radio. Take it. Richard! No! Richard! Rebecca, be careful. Ugh. Richard, Richard, are you... Rebecca, it's very dangerous out here. Will you come with me? I... I'd like to stay here a little bit longer. Okay, Rebecca. Can you use a gun? I'll look for the others. Protect yourself. Chris, be careful, please. Be careful. Be careful, please. Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Here's the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. 
You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh, be careful. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Yeah. Richard gave this to me. The radio is a keepsake from him. Richard! This is more useful to you than me. Ready to go? Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? Hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double-crosser! Lost courage already? It's not like you. Who is it? I is someone there? Uh, uh, hell. Umbrella. Double-crosser? What did he mean by that? Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? What? Oh no, I'm alone. But why are you asking? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! Oh! <coughs> Enrico! Who killed him, I wonder? Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Are you alright, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! Ah! Enrico! Oh, Jill. What good timing. A moment ago I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry! Hey! Are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. I understand. It may be more dangerous if you come behind me. Be careful. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Barry, I... Sure, it may be dangerous. I'll go, even if I have to go by myself. Will you be waiting here, Jill? I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm going now. Barry, I think I'll take some other route. I see. Yeah, maybe you should. Be careful. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Please respond. What the hell? Is nobody out there? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team, it doesn't matter. Anybody, answer me. This is Brad. Damn, it's broken. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a sign. This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Please respond. What the hell? Is nobody out there? Brad, this is Jill. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team! Bravo Team, it doesn't matter! Anybody, 
Answer me. This is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a sign. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Chris, use it! Destroy the monsters with it! It's coming! Jill, kill that monster! You're our Amazon, Jill! I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Oh, you don't have to talk. I'm going to give you first aid. Maybe my time has come. Jill, take this. I've been cheating you all fr from the start. If you can forgive me. Could you please give this to my family? And if you can, please try to protect them. What do you mean by that, Barry? Don't give up! Uh, Jill, be careful of that guy. <coughs> please. Stay alive! <clears throat> Barry! That was too close. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry! Barry? It can't be true. I've been told a different story. Hey, there is nothing we can do. The situation has changed. But it's not necessary for you to destroy stars. It's not my intention. It's Umbrella's. I can't help it. What about my family? I will guarantee their safety. So everything depends on me, huh? Hi, Jill. Uh, hi, Barry. I, I heard someone talking. So you heard it too. I think I'm getting old. It seems that talking to myself is becoming a habit. Talking to yourself? Barry, something must have happened to you. Am I wrong? You sound strange. Well, it seems I made you worry, but don't. Maybe I have been a nervous wreck since all of these strange things started happening. Well, I think I'll go out and get some fresh air for a change. I told you, don't worry. I'll just go and get some fresh air and be eaten by a monster. Rebecca, no, it's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You can... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion. Then kill the root. Rebecca, please. Chris, don't die. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? Yeah. So much for him, we got to the root of the problem. Saved again. I just... Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Well, I think I can make another potion. I'll go back to the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. Well, Chris, this is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Ah! What the hell is this? Barry! Jill! You saved me! Yeah. That was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place, anyway? Okay. 
I'm going to stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We're still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. Wesker! Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. I met Barry too a while ago. I think there's something wrong with him. Yes, I agree with you. Sure was strange, wasn't he? He looks so tired. Well, maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Chris! This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. Well, probably there is enough for two doses. Are you all right? Want me to treat it? Chris, be careful! I'm okay, but if something happens to me, please take care of me. Chris, take care! Chris! Rebecca, you're safe! I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Rebecca, you're safe! I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir! Jill! I was looking for you. Barry. Jill, don't be angry. I wanted you to wait for me. Barry, don't screw up again like you did when you dropped that rope. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. What happened to Wesker? Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. Let me try using both at the same time. Please give me a key. Let's try. Ready, start. It's open. Chris. Jill. Chris, Wesker, he is... I, I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. This is Brad. We're running out of fuel. If there is anyone alive, contact me now, okay? This is your last Oh, no. You must... Be kidding! After we've come all the way here! Ladies first! Go first, Jill! But Chris! Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. Damn it! We have only one more step to go. Okay, I'll go. Jill, you try to contact Brad. Okay! Getting caught.
contact with Brad right away! Okay! Look at those monsters! Chris! If Brad is in the helicopter, get in contact with him by any means! But... I'll hold back the monsters! Okay! I trust you! Trust me! Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars. Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move. And if you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. Enrico, I'll destroy the stars myself, including you. The fact is, Umbrella does not know what to do with the tyrant virus. We have orders to blow up this laboratory, and it's not a bad idea. But I think we should save this important research for future use. You, you think you can disappear with such important material? Would you like to see it? Come with me. I'm sorry for my lack of manners, but I'm not used to escorting men. Now, walk. Uh, ouch! <laughs> Rebecca, what are you doing in this place? Oh, Chris, I was almost attacked by a monster, but I escaped through the other draft hole. Then I came... Ouch! Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. By the way, where are we? It looks like a power room, but I'm not sure. How about you? Did you find something? Chris, look at this. What's the matter? It's a triggering system for a bomb. What? Great. Wow, I've never seen such a big bomb. How come? It's dangerous. Don't touch it. Jill. Sorry for making you wait. Chris! I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. Jill! Are you there? Chris? Jill, you're all right. Ah, uh, yes. Wesker is here. He's... Oh, I know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, Jill! Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Oh, Jill! Oh, Chris! So you're okay? Yeah, you too! What happened to Wesker? Let's talk about it later. Let's get out of here! Hurry! Let's go! Let's get going! Is this...? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. Go to hell. Jill will join you too. What? Don't come this way! No! You can't kill me! There is three minutes until explosion. Jill! I... Jill... It's you... Barry? I'm really embarrassed to see you now. Just, just leave me. Go, go quickly. It's over, Barry. Wesker's dead. Is that so? Jill, will you do me a favor? 
This is my last wish. Please give this photo to my family. Will you? Sure. Forgive me, Jill. My God! Let's get going, Chris. We can't stop. Hurry! Let's go. Let's get going. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything. Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission, as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet. I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Wesker. Barry is no longer useful. Just as I thought. You are the man behind all of this. <laughs> Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been conducting dangerous experiments, and recently an accident occurred. Anyway, this disaster can't be made public. Ah, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn and destroy them all along with everything in this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission, as ordered by Umbrella. Ah, uh, so you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. I wouldn't give up such a discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So you're going to steal all the research? Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Wow! Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? 
He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Ah! Jill? Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. It doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Damn you! Barry? Barry? You're alive! Uh, uh, I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Oh, oh. Let's get going. Tyrant virus is a super virus which creates a monster which is much stronger than human beings. Tyrant is the most powerful biological weapon in the world. You don't mean you're experimenting on real people? This is really beautiful. All this power will be mine. For the sake of an awful creature? Don't be upset. All weak people exist to be eaten. It can't control what it does. Don't come this way! No! Chris! Jill!